have the pleasure of speaking with Justin Reed from Trollis Gold. How are you today, Justin? I'm great, Tracy. How are you? Justin, I was just remarking how much I enjoyed that Dean Bristow story called, Is Trollos Gold Undervalued? Yes. And he talks about all the reasons why he thinks you are a fabulous company. So why don't we just start there with what was your favorite point that he pulled out? Because he just listed one after another reasons why Trollos Gold was the company to be looking at. I mean, it was a great piece, and, and I think he was reiterating a lot of what we say and others like us say is, you know, Troilus has the jurisdiction, first of all. We have the capital and the shareholder support, the institutional support, just not the support, you know, just not the support to fund a company today, but support to build a mine tomorrow. Um, we have a huge resource at 8.1 million ounces equivalent and growing. Um, we have a number of large catalysts on the way, and ultimately, um, we have a bunch. Of, we have a lot of continued de-risking uh, to deliver to the market. But we are going to be an operation that will have um, generational impact and scale um, scale within the top ten largest producers in Canada within the next three to four years. Well, Justin, I personally like this line. He says, from 1996 to 2010, the Trollos mine produced 2 million ounces of gold and nearly 70,000 tons of copper. So you have a track record of performance. Is this information correct? It's a, it's a past producer. It was operated by InMet Mining, a tier one uh, global producer. Um, it was undercapitalized because their corporate directive was elsewhere. Um, but yeah, well, I mean, we're not reinventing the wheel. This, this mine has proven that it works, that the gold and copper and silver are extractable. Um, and we're finding more of the same. We're not reinventing the wheel here. This is the exact same rock, exact same grade, exact same everything. We're just, we just have made it bigger because we've invested more capital into it. That's all. So it's a proven asset that we are essentially restarting. Okay, not only are you restarting, I mean, obviously copper has changed in demand and price in the last decade. Um, it sounds to me like you've been very aggressive with some drilling. So let's talk about your most recent discovery that you had as a result of your drill results that you just put out last week. Yeah, we have, we have two silos at Troilus. We have 1,400 square kilometers, a huge land package. And we acquired this land package as a result of success we've had at the mine. A new model, a new model that showed there's a lot of potential elsewhere within the belt. So we, uh, we acquired 1,400 square kilometers. We flew detailed ge um, airborne, about two and a half million dollars worth. Over the last two years, we've had 50 people banging rocks, mapping, sampling, geophysics, all, all the background work you have to do. We made a discovery about a year ago at to start. Uh, to start is about 10 kilometers from the mine. It's a kilometer from the power line. The power line runs right up to the main Troilus operation. Um, what we really liked about to start is a little bit different. It's uh, hosted with this intrusive, but really let's just talk great. Um, it's a different beast, um, more classic Abitibi style than these lower grade bulk tonnages that we have. And our surface results, we're bringing back trenches running five ounces of gold, uh, not five grams, 5% 5 copper, uh, 60 ounces of silver. Some of the highest grades seen in surface in the entire Fort at Evans belt ever. Great, it was at surface. We did a bunch of sampling, completed the geophysics. We had a, an available drill right before the snow came and uh, Blake Highlands, who runs our uh, technical team, said, let's put a few holes in this, not into the deposit, into the showing, but let's step back and just test this major structure, which could be a feeder. So to say, call this a wildcat hole is an under understatement. It um, was really more of a stratigraphic test to see, is this a big system? And, you know, we pulled out almost eight meters of five grams, 20 meter or 20 grams over 1.2 meters, significant high grade mineralization, 
which wasn't expected, associated with a kilometer scale structure, that shows us there's another system at Troilus parallel. And this one seems to be a little bit higher grade or has the potential to be. So very early days, but really exciting. And the main, if I step back and I say, why would this be exciting to Troilus? One, I love exploration news when you're, you're going through the monotony of engineering a mine. The market gets bored. We're showing new discoveries. We're showing growth. But think of this, if Troilus, which is going to operate around a gram, was able to find a few million tons at five to 10 or 15 grams, all of a sudden with the road and the infrastructure that's there, it's very easy in a hub and spoke type of model to deliver higher grade surficial ore to the mill early and expedite your payback, increase your economics, makes the deposit bigger. So we don't need to make a new discovery of another mine. We just need to make a satellite discovery which is within the sphere of influence. And this one looks like it could be higher grade. So yeah, early days, but exciting. Okay. Now, just to, to finish up, we have a lot of things to look forward to as Torlos uh, shareholders. Uh, Dean said, you're going to be updating your mineral resource, utilizing that additional 120,000 meters of drilling targeted release for mid calendar 2022. Is that correct? That, that is right. Um, we, we have actually had a marketing meeting this morning. We have uh, probably 10 or 12 things coming out to the market in the next three months. Um, a lot more drilling, a lot more regional exploration. Um, a few things that pertain to the actual engineering of the deposit. But what I'm most excited about is our pre-feasibility and new resource. And the resource and pre-feasibility will be out um, in the next three to four months, um, you know, PDAC is in kind of three to four months. And, uh, you know, it's going to take into account easily 125,000 meters of drilling, but we still have five drills turning right now. We've drilled 35, almost 40,000 meters since the beginning of this year. All those drills are moving to the middle of our gap zone, which is between our two deposits, which we've never talked about. So lots of exciting things to come. So for those of you out there looking to invest in a company that's achieving milestones on a regular basis, and of course, as management team that could be absolutely anywhere, we urge you to go to the Trillis Gold website here. And thank you so much for joining us today. As always, it's a pleasure. Thanks, Trace.